Hey, Mark from Sam Masters, and today I'm going to go through my three favourite VMP releases from the last three months. I love a record subscription service because I get to discover new music or occasionally just get a really nice reissue of a really classic album. But these are my top picks from the last few months from VMP to share with you. Let's get straight into the video. <laughs> First on the list has to be the reissue of Fleetwood Mac, of course, the first album to feature Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham, that 1975 debut for the most sort of commercially successful lineup of Fleetwood Mac, and a huge change in style and direction, of course, for the band and the brand Fleetwood Mac overall, moving away from those kind of classic Peter Green years, among other people in between, of course, but undoubtedly a significant change of direction that led to, you know, ultimately albums like Rumours. So it's a huge album. Arguably, a lot of people actually have said to me that they, they prefer this to Rumours, and perhaps some of that is down to the fact that Rumours is obviously very heavily played but this is a really nice um, reissue of the album cut from analog master tapes by ryan smith at sterling sound in fact all of these records i think were cut by the same guy so there's a bit of a trend kind of going on there ryan smith cuts a lot of the vmp records particularly their vmp classics range it sounds really good and I actually have an original from 1975 that I compared this to. And just out of interest, so that I didn't think I was kind of kidding myself, I did an AB sound clip, loaded it into my computer. So I recorded little clips of the album into the computer, did an AB sound uh, check with this and released it for my Patreon subscribers over at the Sound Matters Patreon. If you'd like to hear the difference between these two albums, you will need to be a patron, of course. But that's the kind of exclusive content I'm putting out there for Patreon subscribers. There'll be a link in the description of this video if you'd like to hear the difference between the two. They're very different sounding. Undoubtedly, the VMP reissue is more modern sounding, has a little more in the bass end, among other aspects that might surprise you about how this record sounds but undoubtedly it's a really nice sounding version of it which one i prefer you'll have to check out the patreon video to find out more but if you're a fan of this album i do recommend you pick it up check it out there'll be links to all of these albums in the description of this video of course before we move on to the next album i should also mention that i did a whole sound matters classic albums feature on the fleetwood mac 1975 classic there'll be a link in the top corner right now and i'll also put a link in the description of course of this video just telling the story behind the album and you'll see a little bit more of this particular pressing what it looks like how it's presented all that kind of jazz. Next on my list is the 1967 album Silk and Soul by Nina Simone. This is actually the VMP classics release for this month, and I've really enjoyed it. Of course, Nina Simone, well known for her contralto voice, really earthy, low, characterful, unmistakably Nina Simone vocals. And she is a very diverse singer as well, more than just a soul singer, which I think is why she was a little bit embarrassed about the label High Priestess of Soul at one point or another. You know, there's much more to her than just soul singing there's so many musical styles covered on this album you know from gospel to blues to r&b among other factors in there as well there's a really nice rendition of turn me on on side two which previously i've only had the nora jones rendition of in my collection which of course she covered on her debut album come away with me i like both versions but they're both undoubtedly very different the nora jones one much more smooth lounge like the nina simone version much more earthy of course which would suit her much more earthy low characterful voice that she has almost folk-like elements to her voice at times i've really enjoyed this a really nice introduction in my collection to nina simone because this is the first nina simone record to grace my collection and i would say based on this i need more nina simone in my collection and this is what i love about a record club it just puts things in front of me that maybe otherwise would take me longer to get to, or maybe in some cases I never would have discovered in the first place. One thing I want to say about the VMP Classics range that I've really approved of recently before we move on to the next album is that I'm so glad they've moved away from these tiny little booklets that I always found were really annoying within the actual outer record jacket. We'd get the record caught in them as we were pulling them in and out. They were just a bit of a pain. And so they've swapped over now to making the full booklet style versions 
just like they do with all the Essentials records. Definitely brings it more in line quality-wise with the VMP Essentials releases. I definitely approve of this. It's been a huge improvement and they just sit so much nicer inside the outer jacket. It's all small details like that. I don't know if somebody gave some feedback or whatever it might be, but the little booklets I've always found I end up taking out and I end up putting them on a shelf somewhere and there's always a risk that you lose that as part of the release and of course then that devalues your particular reissue version of that record if you lose part of the release. So with these, with the actual full booklets, they just become naturally slotted into the album jacket and you can't lose them. Much better in my opinion and actually much nicer to flick through as well. I think they started switching over to the full booklet style possibly about sort of six months or so ago. It was a quiet switch but one that I approved of. The last album I'd like to mention today is Ray Charles in Person from 1960, which is a live performance from 1959 that, reading the liner notes on the back, I believe was almost never captured. They just happened to have their portable tape machine turned on at the time and a single microphone plugged into it that captured this entire performance. And considering that's the case, it sounds remarkably good, but there's certainly a lot of atmosphere in there. You can really hear the crowd's kind of visceral reaction to his performances and the great musicianship on display within this album. There is one song on here written by Ray Charles himself called What I'd Say. It's a really standout track on this particular album and if I understand correctly this is the last album to be released under his contract with Atlantic before he then moves on to an era of his music which is known as his crossover period where he gives up writing altogether in favor of creating renditions and kind of arrangements of other people's songs and had great commercial success doing so of course now he's regarded as one of america's most loved musicians which is you know i think a really superb turning point in his history and this really captures the kind of earlier kind of jazzy r&b sound of the great ray charles this particular version was cut from the original mono master tapes again by ryan smith at sterling sound and i might have expected an album like this to be on the vmp classics list but i think because it's such a kind of turning point and classic live album by such a seminal important artist within american music history i can see why it's been included in vmp essentials it's also pressed on really beautiful blue vinyl Links to all the albums mentioned are in the description of this video and of course there's a link to the Sound Matters Patreon where you can go to hear that shootout between the original 1975 Fleetwood Mac and the VMP reissue. If you are new to this channel please do consider joining me on my final journey, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. But until that next video, keep spinning and enjoy the music.